Well, hello there and welcome back to a brand new video where today's video is a follow-up from my previous video talking about Owen Farrell, showing you guys the red card, the tackling action. A lot of you guys seem to really enjoy that video. I was overwhelmed by the response and just like to say a massive thank you for the support out there. As you guys are aware, I'm primarily a gaming channel, but I have been posting a lot of rugby gaming content. And, you know, throughout the year or so, I've been talking about Saracens, showing you guys some vlogs, talking about the relegation, the salary cap, etc. And those videos seem to do really well as well. So I thought, hey, why not talk about Owen Farrell? I'm a Saracens fan. And one of the main reasons why I did the previous video was A, because a lot of you guys know I support Saracens. And I was even watching the game. I was tweeting about the game. And Owen Farrell wasn't having the best of games anyway. And it was kind of like insult to injury. Like he wasn't playing well. He was missing touch, missing some penalties. And then he gets the red card. And it's just like, oh, great. Like it just definitely summarizes performance of being atrocious. Like honestly, it was. And I'm a Saracens fan, and I'm a big fan of Owen Farrell, and I will say it, but his gameplay was shocking. He wasn't in form, and getting the red card was definitely just like the icing on the cake, really. So I did the video, and I wasn't expecting it to do as well as it did, and so I say a massive thank you for that support on that video, and just the support in general lately. You guys have been going ham, so thank you guys very much. Honestly, I do appreciate all the support so far. And as promised from the previous video, I did mention I'll do a follow-up video talking about the disciplinary, how long did Owen Farrell get banned for, and just some general information regarding the review, because we do have some information. We have who was on the testimony. Testimony, is that the word? Testim testimonies yeah he provided test uh testimony yeah yeah that word testimonials testimony <laughs> you know me i'm not the best at pronouncing words sometimes i am dyslexic so i look dyslexic dyslexic man what are you on about that's the word testimonials i had to like say it in my head and go What's the word? Yeah. So we have all this information. It's very interesting. And obviously there's been a lot of reports online and I've seen the comments and there's a lot of people going, I don't agree. And I've also found some information as to how a ban can get reduced. So we'll go over that as well. But today's video is talking about Owen Farrell talking about his ban, how long he's been banned for. I want to give you guys my thoughts and reactions about if I agree with it. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below as well. If you guys agree with the ban, is it too long, too short? Should it be banned at all? Should it be even longer? Whatever. Let me know in the comments down below. I always love reading your comments. So please let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, let's get into it. Right. So Owen Farrell yesterday on September 8th of 2020, Owen Farrell appeared on an online independent disciplinary panel where he was there for, I think for multiple hours. It was, it didn't finish till like 11 PM at night. So it was a pretty long time and it was online. So very easy for Owen Farrell to attend. And he was told the verdict. So the verdict was he was given a 10 game match ban. So he was banned for 10 matches. Now you might be going, Matt, why was he banned for 10 matches, not 10 weeks? And so normally in rugby, whenever you get a red card, you're banned for weeks, not games. But because of the hectic period right now and with COVID and everything, banning someone for say 10 weeks technically could be 15 16 matches whereas if you ban him for 10 matches that could be played over maybe five weeks at the moment in the Gallagher Premiership we're roughly playing two games every like 10 days or so which is obviously more than once a week uh, so that's why Owen Farrell is being banned for matches instead of games matches <laughs> instead of games Matt that's exactly the same thing it's been a long day. It's always been a long day, really. I'm filming this right now at 10 o'clock at night. And I'll probably be up in the morning, late, editing this video. But what I do for you guys. Uh, so that's why. And he was banned for 10 matches. And it's been reduced to five matches. Now, a lot of people are going, why did it get reduced? 10 matches would have been okay. In my prediction, I did say about 10 weeks. That was kind of my guess. I believe, and let me know if I'm wrong, but the way they kind of like categorize red cards is you've got like low, medium, high, and this was considered as a high end. So a high end is normally between, I think, 10 to 12, 10 to 15 weeks. And uh, Owen Farrell got it reduced down to five weeks. Now, I think a middle, middle ground, you're looking at six weeks, four to six weeks. And then very low, you're looking at maybe even zero to two weeks. So this was definitely a high end tackle. And it was it was very poor, mistimed completely. Uh, but like I said, Owen Farrell has always been known for his like high challenges. He's never really known how to tackle. He tackles sometimes, but when he's in the moment, sometimes he just doesn't tackle at all. So that's kind 
kind of like the quick summary and now we're going to go into a little bit more depth in uh, talking about it so if you guys remember and if you guys haven't checked out the previous video there'll be a link down below Check it out so you guys can see the tackle again if you want to. The Owen Farrell was shown a red card by referee Christopher Ridley in the 61st minute between Saracens and Wasps on the Saturday of September 5th of 2020. It was a very dangerous challenge against Charlie Atkinson. Obviously, Charlie only being like 18 or 19 and, you know, pretty lethal, pretty lethal challenge. And uh, yeah, it, it, it obviously wasn't the best. And Owen Farrell knew straight away that it was his fault and all that fun stuff. I say fun. It probably wasn't really fun for him, but he did. He did basically. He was like, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So that's essentially what he did. Well, maybe not that way, but he was like, sorry. You know. Anyway, now during the disciplinary panel, Farrell accepted the charge and was given a five-match suspension by the independent board. That included Mike Hamlin, the chair, with Gareth Graham and Leon Lloyd. So the panel chair, Mike Hamlin, said it was accepted by the RFU, the player, and the panel, but the offending was reckless but not intentional. This was totally unacceptable contact with the neck head of Charlie Atkinson as a result of a reckless tackle, which had the consequences of him being knocked unconscious and sustaining a concussion. Wow, that, that that's not good. This resulted in the panel concluding that this was a top-end offence with an entry point of 10 matches. There were no aggregating features and there were testimonies, 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 I can't say it again, man. Testimonials. That's 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 it. <laughs> I said it right. So testimonials. So testimonial. Testimonial. You guys know what I mean, right? So testimonials provided by Mark McCall, obviously the director of Saracens. Eddie Jones, obviously the manager, or I guess that director of England Rugby, whatever you want to call it, or the head coach, and the founders of a charity which the player works very closely with. And that charity, which I think is the Dukin charity, my cousin's actually one of like the co-founders. So it's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting because I, I saw it the other day. Well, not, I say the other day. The last time I was at a Saracens match and we were um, talking about the charity and every time Saracens scored a try, Saracens donated some money. And I saw my cousin and my second cousin. So pretty interesting. Fun fact for you guys wanted to know. And according to the report, the testimonials were at the highest quality. The panel concluded that applying the off-field mitigation factors, notwithstanding his suspension four and a half years ago the player was entitled to a reduction from 10 matches to five meaningful matches under the rfu regulation 19.11.11 the player is free again to play on october 5th and i believe the championship cup final was just after that so if saracens can beat leinster beat the team in the semi-final and boom we get to the final which it could happen you never know Owen Farrell will be able to play and I think last year as well Owen Farrell didn't even play in the quarterfinal his uh, wife was giving birth and we still won so hopefully this time around we can still win uh, but that's kind of like the report now regarding like the mitigation uh, factors in terms of what they look into in terms of reducing the ban right so obviously the testimonials help because obviously they're going you know, Owen Farrell is a great player you didn't mean it you know x y and z and if you think about it Mark McCord the director of Saracen is obviously going to give as much information as he can you know he's the guy who sees him day in day out Eddie Jones as well did he have an influence probably uh, you know being you know the coach of England and, and you know some people are saying you know eddie jones being there did that help probably and obviously the founders of a charity as well to say oh if i was a great guy you know that, that's essentially what it is but here it is right so according to this article anyone that has been following rugby in recent decades will know how the disciplinary process now works to get your ban reduced as a player, here is a checklist you need to check off, right? Are you guys ready? Because I know a lot of you guys are professional rugby players. So you got to express remorse, which which, which Owen Farrell, F F Owen Farrell, F Owen Farrell, which Owen Farrell did. So obviously the second, you know, he knew what he did, hands up. He stood by the sideline, waited for Charlie to come off the field, make sure he was okay. So big check there for Owen Farrell. You must have apologized to your opponent or at least attempted to do so. The social media accounts as well. He did do that. We saw that on TV. Show up to the process in person, but because you can do it online, he obviously did. Be well presented. Obviously, I didn't see anything, but I imagine he was very smart and suited. Smart and suited. Suited and booted, that, that's the saying. Be well behaved during the process. I'm sure Owen Farrell was well behaved. Uh, have, a, have, a, have a couple of character witness statements. Yep, yeah, Mark McCall, Eddie Jones, and the charity. And yeah, that's 
pretty much it. It's it's pretty interesting. Uh, so Owen Farrell pretty much did all of those, and that really helps your reduction. And like I said, the fact that Owen Farrell was played 197 games for Saracens, I think he had, what, six yellow cards or something I said, and zero red cards. This is his first red card, a first official red card for Saracens, and the last time he was sent off, I think, was in a test match uh, like four and a half years ago. So there we go. Owen Farrell has been banned for five games. Uh, it should have been ten but was reduced from 10 to 5. I think I've been talking for a long time, as always. I probably could have said this video in 10 seconds, but you know me, I love talking, just like I'm in a chat. But anyway, let me know your thoughts, guys, down below. Do you think a five match ban is enough? Technically, it was a 10 match ban, so it was a high end. So they didn't go it was low or medium, it was high, but based on his history and what he did, it's a five match ban. What are your thoughts? Please let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to massive thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, comment over thoughts regarding this. But anyway, guys, have a wonderful day, and as always, in my next video, adios, chaps. She's a dime, I'm the rest.